so dear farmers this is our alfalfa so far you have been able to get this season so we have done the bailing we do it manually because that's what we can these are the boxes we use when we are bailing so do what you can with the kind of resources you have with the kind of the boxes or oh, the wood you can use so don't excuse yourself that i can't do it i don't have a, an automatic beta i don't have a modern one we use what is available and we are very happy with it because we are getting the same results hope you can see how how far far is well buried as you can see it is here this is our bear of our alfalfa so we're going to show you how we do it how do we come up with this it's not new but we can't stop repeating whatever because it may be it may be new to someone else so this is what we do as you can see we put in those strings as you can see that madam doing it down there then after we get our alfalfa and we put it even up there we are storing those are bells of course Guyana we are bearing it and putting it up there so now this is the other of course Guyana we have so first lift up that bell and you see lift it up and you see so that's a bell as you can see so these are bells of alfalfa and we are going to store them we are doing the bearing we need to store more feeds because as I told this is our target this year we no longer care about the number of animals however if we have 20 we don't care they will multiply and increase in number with time so these are the bills so this is the madam who is doing the bailing for us we are strong we don't have what weak people at our farm as you can see all these are our bells of our alfalfa so dear farmers so for the farmers we have done the bailing we are storing more and more feeds since our animals are about to deliver like three months from now so what do we have to do we have to have good nutrition so in doing the process of steaming up even this one works a lot so we shall be giving them these ones as we do supplement with others so these are the bells of alfalfa mm. as you can see we are doing it in a simple way possible because this is so far what we can manage for now we can't stress ourselves to have the more sophisticated machines to do this we have been we are able to do this so i will tell you that do what you can manage do what is economical for you as long as you are getting the same results as those ones who have used complicated machines so this is the box we are going to bathe even course then we show you how we do it so all that you see down there this is course we are getting from the garden then after getting it from the garden we are putting it here so that's from here we shall start doing the bedding from home not from the, down there in the garden so you can see all oh, this is harvest we have harvested our energy is not spoiled or oh, whatever i was showing you we are putting back the dung i was showing you it is compacted it's a lot at least we can get more than 200 bells from here so i'm so happy and super excited to show you this but this has come as a result of consistency we have given up each and everything we have put our happiness aside whatever we could do we have not had enough time with our families because we wanted to see the results we don't want to be failures we want to succeed so there's a price to pay yeah so wherever you are be sure and be aware that there must be a price you have to pay in order for you to succeed in life so let me show you how we do the baby Watch mm. a so you can see even our pack chong we are harvesting it so that we can chop it some fresh we give it to our cows so here we are after putting in the string like you can see you can put here two one here another one here and like this but since the size of the box is small that's how we are doing it you make sure you put it inside on a key surface so you can see we just put a simple polythene bag and then from here we keep on putting it inside then we keep on doing what she's doing you make sure you properly press or you properly compact you constrict those grasses pastures as you can see she has stood on them as you can see so that it is properly compacted 
you'll be able to, to store a lot of feeds within a small piece of area and at the same time you'll be able to reduce on the spoilage So this is how we do it. Whenever you do, passion is something very important when it comes to farming. Whenever you do anything with passion, honestly, at times it doesn't go your way, but if you are persistent and consistent, at least finally you will be there. You can see whatever we are doing, we are doing it with passion. Instead of admiring it at another person in the farm, if you have a chance of doing it, please do it, rather than admiring it when someone else is doing it. So we are very happy with what we are doing. It is becoming easy because we love what we are doing. So put some love, have some passion for whatever you are doing. That's why practically we engage ourselves into this, make sure we are part of it, and we want to see the results so that we can become happy. So dear farmers, let me show you this. It's very good to harvest your quarries at this stage when the seeds have started to come out or sprouting, as you can see. So this is the most correct stage. Even the stems will be very soft for the animals to eat. So don't leave them to overgrow because they become a bit hard. And we need the, the digestibility to be so good. So you can see our grasses, our pasture, we have vested them at the most correct stage. So even the protein content will be so good, even the nutrition in them. And again, we don't dry them from the garden. We just wilt them. Not semi-drying. We just wilt them. And then they dry under the shade. So it's very good to know the stage at which you'll be harvesting your pastures. Because if you don't know the stage at which you're harvesting your pastures, you will end up when you're harvesting them at an overgrown stage or at a very young stage. So it's better to know the actual stage it's very good to know what you are supposed to do. Are you drawing them from your, your garden or at home? Or you are just wilting? Just, so just, it's just wilting them. To reduce the amount of moisture content in these pastures. So from there, they dry under the shade. As you have seen, we wilt them there for like a day because we have started the dry spell. So there's some good sunshine. We just leave them there for a day after before evening then you bring them here so if you are in a cloudy area or if you have had a rain so just have to leave them there for like for two days okay depending but the idea behind is about wilting not drying not semi-drying just just wilting them to call them or to some in the regard so that's what we are trying to do so that we can have the the nutritional content when it is good you can see even the the greenish color it is still there so what she's doing you can see the volume which was here is properly now compacted so that we can have the results we want so we shall store a lot of feeds from a small piece of area so this is how their fellow farmers this is how bedding is done even if you have alfalfa even if you are doing black area or even if you are doing chorus garden even other pastures but even if you can have your choo choo giant pack and when you can if you can semi dry it but the giant one is better for silage you can still do the same do the belly then you can store your feeds so we, we do proper compaction of that pasture then we start planning about tying the bell after making sure it's fully done so dear farmers we give it time so that we can have better results. Whenever you do something you love, everything becomes so easy for you. Even ladies nowadays, you can see they are, they are very active. So they are men. Wherever you are, if ladies are doing this, at the same time, are doing even physical exercise. If ladies are doing this, why not us? We have to be more active. So they are farmers. After properly compacting the curries, so what we do next is then to bring back the string 
and then you start tying it as you can see what she's doing there's no rocket science here everything is easy it's about having some energy so that you can properly compact it and then again tying it properly then from there you'll be able to get your bell out like you see how she's doing it hope you can see it so this is our simple bell but there's a lot which is stored here so as you can see here so that's this is how we do it uh, thanks so much madam <laughs> for them so this is how we do it so we love whatever we are doing and we're doing it thoroughly well so we keep on doing this so that we can have better and better results thanks so much for following big german more building farm youtube channel please tell a friend tell a friend and if you haven't subscribed yet make it a point subscribe to my youtube channel for all those who have supported me thanks so much i can see we are heading towards 10,000 subscribers that's our target and that's my target this year thanks so much for following me god bless you all